Hey, Orange One here. Sorry about starting off with the heartbeat. I wanted to show off our friend Harvey here um, against a few zombies. He's not fully mutated, but he's pretty far along in terms of the muta mutation tree. I am just going to take out this wrestler because a wrestler is still pretty tough melee wise, even for our cow person, our minotaur. But look at that. He just knocked that guy back, I think, with his hooves. And then I'm not sure if he also attacked with his horns, or if that was his axe. Because the axe can send them reeling. That was definitely the axe that got well lodged in there. So he's got like all these special attacks that proc every once in a while. Um, yeah, like that's that's definitely the battle axe there. Um, yeah, actually let's just fall back. Our friend here is gonna get in there for us. And you can see like, look, he's he's pretty good. He's pretty good with that weapon there. Um, he is kind of hurt right now. He's also very tired because he won't sleep in my car because he's, I don't know, icky like that. But um, yeah, he's doing pretty good, you know. I just kind of want to show off him a, a little bit in combat here. There's not really much reason for me to be exactly here right now other than just to get a little bit of combat experience. Um, so that's basically what I've been doing. Also, oh yeah, it looks like you may have destroyed your cloak. Um, he is, it's pretty annoying, but I made him a fur cloak and it just ke kept on getting destroyed. And so I've gone and made him a leather cloak. It doesn't look as cool in my mind, but I can't get the pelts at the frequency that I would need to actually maintain that. Uh, where's the spitter at? Can I kill the spitter? Yes, I can. And then it looks to me like I think I'm seeing some smoke coming our way. And that's making me nervous because although our friend, he may be decent in a fight, um, he will burn very quickly. Uh, and I'm not going to shoot the chaser because we're going to be shooting right through our friend if we do that. Yeah, let's get that closed. Thank you for closing that behind us. And then... And I think I might go for the lab. I might want to make my way up to this bookstore and just check it out. But that smoky thing is making me just a little nervous. And I can just turn around and run it down and hopefully we get lucky. I mean, we could try that. And I know I can kill the chaser doing that. Like that. And then the Z9. I might be able to get help from that. Oh wait, we just destroyed a Beretta. How, what? Why was there a Beretta? Must have been dropped by a zombie. Um, did not hit anything there. That was a shame. We'll have to do another pass then. Wow, there's a lot of fire there. What if I go up this side? Nope, nothing there. I think they're inside the car now. What if, um, I yell? Yeah, I don't know if that's going to be loud or not. Um, what if I play my harmonica? I think that would make some noise, right? Uh, sure, go ahead and... Actually, I think I need to get my um, magazines away. I just realized. I don't know if I talked about this also. Now I've got a second um, leg ammo pouch, so I've got four magazines on me. Kind of cool. Hello, we'll just play our music and see if that changes where the smoke is at. Oh, nope, I'm like trying to accelerate. Hello, anybody there? It looks like it's dissipating. Did we kill it? Did I not even realize that we killed it? Whatever it was generating the smoke. No, it looks like it's... Oh, no, it's, it's right there. Whatever it is. We'll close that and let's see if we can kill this smoky beast. What was that noise? Oh, that just ran. We just rammed our fuel thing. And Ichus. Did we kill the Ichus? I think we might have killed it. I'm not sure. Let's just do one more pass just to make sure. Uh. Come on, that's got to be a kill, right?
I mean, if it's an Ickus, that is a this is actually a, probably a pretty good strategy for killing it. Um, I think we killed the Z9 there. Yeah, I think the Ickus is down. We'll just um, kind of do what we did last time, play some music outside the smoke and see if it uh, changes. Let's see, la -dee da And it looks like it's thinner smoke because I can see mostly through it, I think. Because isn't there like thick and thin smoke or something like that? Well, if the Ickus is down, it's kind of annoying how the fog doesn't... Does it show up on the map? Pro it doesn't show up on the map properly, no. If you look at the mini-map, it's telling me I can see those tiles when I can't really. It's kind of weird. Okay, I think we can stop running. And that Kevlar zombie, I know it's a Kevlar zombie, so this is kind of insane. But let's get our, our friend out. We'll play a little music for him. Uh, while he, he kills that Kevlar zombie. Uh, let's just actually just take a second and do this. Oh, wait, what? Hold on. Stop playing. And start running. If that smoke is coming towards me, then uh, that Ickus is still alive. Like, can we get into the back of the car here? Okay, we're safe. There you are. Hello. Can I just, like, kill you, please? Come on. There we go. The, the Ickus melted away. I think it gave me the message there, so we know that that's for sure. Is this... Can I get pelts from this zombie dog? If I can, then I would be very happy boy. Um, hold on. Let's... Oh, actually, sorry, no. Come on out with us, bud. And then you can attack this doggo for me. I'm gonna play you a song. This is uh, Harvey's favorite song, actually. It's actually just a cowbell. <laughs> oh, man, if I play cowbell for him, is that, like, messed up? Hmm. Not sure. Um, so, we do have, actually, uh, wait, Corrosive Zombie? Oh, I thought it said Corrosive Fox for a minute. <laughs> I, was, I was a little concerned. <laughs> okay, let's get our gun out. Um, sure, put the harmonica away. If there's a Corrosive... Oh, there's actually a good chunk of zombies around here. Um, is that you running away? Are you trying to get away from that group? Because that did look like a pretty strong group. Uh, Nadir, you, yeah, you can come to us. Our friend here, he should be able to fight you. As Cloak's doing okay, how are you doing health-wise? Yeah, if you look, his right arm is at like 160-ish health, which I think is about where he's at. Man, that, that hoof attack. He gets a fair amount, and that actually did a fair amount of damage too. Um, kick some hooves, headbutts them with their horns. Yeah, so that was the horn attack, so we definitely see the horns when it's in there. Oh, by the way, I was looking at the mutation tree for the uh, cattle mut mutants, and they get horns. And then, like, horns, apparently it turns into, like, like pointed horns and, like, a couple different types of horns. Oh, I also want to check out this uh, down here. I'm pretty sure that there's... Uh, these sewer systems is what's making the noise down here, but I wanted to check that out. I do want to go to that lab, but I kind of feel like it might be a good idea to make our mutant friend just a little bit more powerful. And, oh yeah, that gasoline is still burning. Man, there was a gasoline zombie that I killed uh, before the episode started. Oh, look, there's a shocker um, and a wrestler. That's kind of close to the fire there. <laughs> Can I smash that without burning? Uh, yeah, see, I'm, I'm getting a rising temperature, which makes me nervous, but I think that it, it wasn't rising super fast, so it's fine. And then I I really should pick up, like, this, like, the garden stuff here. If I look at that, 
That's probably just empty, right? I don't think I would see if it had stuff in it, but who knows? Maybe I would. Yeah, go ahead and uh, just kill whatever you want, bud. Yeah, I think I'm basically just trying to up his combat experience. Because, I mean, he's pretty good right now, but he's going to get even more strong. I know it's crazy to think about that, but he's going to get even more strong. And if we can get these up to like four or fives kind of level, oh man, he's gonna he's gonna have some um, some really nice uh, combat abilities. And with 150 health, not much can kill him. I just need to be aware of like the environmental effects that he could get. Um, like such, I, yeah, I know that I shouldn't be smashing a shocker. Shockers don't have that good of cybernetics. Uh, what's going on up there? I'm seeing, like, some sort of fight. Oh, no, it's a fox being surrounded by zombies. Okay. Well, that sucks. Hello, do any of you want to come over here? Yeah. We'll take ya. There's the firefighter and the Kevlar zombie. Okay, well, I'm going to let you just get in. See if you can kill that firefighter. Um. Oh, the Kevlar zombie just punched him and sent him flying. How are you doing health-wise? I'm... And your armor, your armor is okay, so that is really more of what I'm caring about, to be honest. Are you trying to attack the Kevlar zombie? I think he's trying to attack the Kevlar zombie. I'm not sure why he didn't go for the firefighter when it was by itself. Oh, uh, my gun mis didn't actually fire. I'll just give him a little help, you know. And I'll keep my gun aimed on that thing. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll help you out a little bit. And I'll get my gun on the nadir because they're the one that's really concerning. Why are you not attacking this firefighter? Like, I don't understand. I'll, I'll kill the firefighter if you don't want to kill them. For whatever reason. And this uh, one is going to start harassing me, but I think we're going to just... Um, we'll let it... It harassed me while the nadir maybe gets killed. I might have to kill that cop or something. Nah, he's got it. Yeah, he doesn't want to attack um, some of these zombies for whatever reason. He's being kind of weird. You know, I could get the Jane out and go melee myself. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah. There we go. And I'll let you finish off that one. Good job, buddy. Let's see, how's your health? I mean, I don't think he even got hurt from being thrown by that Kevlar zombie. I mean, he, he's got high enough strength, so I think he actually doesn't take as much damage from being thrown around. And look at this, he, he went and just butchered all of those bodies for us. Uh, is That's a pretty big group up there, though. Bud, um, are you... Yeah, you're asleep. Yeah, he's very tired. If you haven't. Uh, noticed. Come with me, friend. Uh, can I uh, wield my gun again? Get that back out. And I'm just kind of looking up here. Th these zombies, I would like to take out probably that corrosive. Yeah. It's an easy shot. It's a good angle. You know, kind of like why not kind of situation. And we're, we're pretty much at the bookstore. And I think once we're at the bookstore, I'll turn around and go check out that lab. Oh, this brute, he's going to punch my buddy. I'll, I'll let him get punched. Actually, yeah, he's going to maybe get punched into a tree. Oh, actually, no, he didn't even get punched. He uh, just straight up knocked him with the... Um, the hooves. And I think sends them reeling. I'm pretty sure that is an uh, attack from his actual battle axe. The, um... Yeah, he's got such a long name that it interferes with reading um, some of the stuff. The, the text thing, I think. I think that's what's going on. God, this guy is so awesome. I just love it. I'm gonna be sad when he inevitably dies. But I can just like not imagine Nosh right now. 
on his harmonica, just playing his his happy song. While um, he has this giant cow mutant attack things. Are you running away from that? You're not running away from this creature. Yeah. You just look looks like you're trying to pulp some corpses or something. Okay, cool. Um. Oh, spent time close to a fire. Oh, sweet, because we were the pyromaniac. We we got that bonus. I like it. I will definitely take that. Um, and let's just play a little music around the block and see what comes out. Okay, we got something here. Good. And then, do we have another corrosive zombie? Yeah, but they're they're pretty far up there. I bet they don't even bother us. I think we're just gonna get into the bookstore and then get out. Um. Oh, actually, the bookstore is right here. Uh, the corrosive has seen us. Okay, we'll have to deal with them then. Corrosive. And they're down. Okay. Yeah, he should be able to deal with the rest. These predators are so annoying when they stun you like that, though. But it looks like he's got it. And it looks to me like his cloak is actually um, maybe withstanding. Yeah, it looks like the cloak's been fine. What was that that was damaged? The fit over sunglasses? Okay, well, <laughs> whatever. I don't care about that. Um, I, I know I should kill that corrosive, but the book stores right here. Okay, good. There was no alarm. I was half expecting an alarm. Uh, let's see what books we got here. Dainty dishes fit for a king. <laughs> Isn't If it's a dainty dish... Okay, whatever. Um, let's see. Eat your way to a fit physique. Nice. Where is that? That's like over here. I didn't I didn't see exactly where it was. Liverlicious rest yeah, there's a lot more cooking books all of a sudden. I don't really need a cooking book though. Advanced emergency care. That sounds useful. Like seriously, that sounds like a super useful book. Um The Satanic Bible. <laughs> Oh, I know I'm going to make some people mad, but I think that that's the perfect book for Nosh. Experimental. Okay, it's just actually just a, a experimental in terms of the writing, not the content. It's not going to give me any, like, um, special abilities or anything. <laughs> that's a big book. Liverlicious recipes that your kids will love, so you're, like, feeding your kids organs kind of thing. I mean, that is, like, not, like, a bad thing in and of itself. Like, a lot of food is actually internal organs from a lot of the, the world, like, traditional foods. It's only since we've gotten, like, an absurd abundance of meat that that's kind of changed. Yeah, I think, um... I might just, you know, let him get some more fighting experience. He's, he's doing really nice work right now is the is the thing yeah for some reason he seems to like charge in and he doesn't seem to go for the one that I would go for sometimes that nadir hopefully you killed the other one before the nadir gets involved no you didn't okay well looks like I'm gonna have to get involved uh, let's get our Jane out sure Oh, you you want to take this one out for me? Sure, go for it. Come on. At least he's getting dodging experience, right? That is something also that is something to keep in mind, is that he should be able to dodge really well. I can't really put much armor on him. Um, but he... Oh, yeah, that torso's kind of banged up. I should probably fix that up a little bit more. Um, I do have some bandages on me, which is good. I'm looking here, these could maybe use a little fixing up, but the other limbs aren't going to be healed up anyways, so it's kind of like, what's the point, you know? Okay, we do have two inbound. Nice. 
Very cool. And this is honestly I I need to not get too comfortable because like someone with like a special um ability like acid or electricity is gonna come through and just like totally kill him. Um like if I just like try and just ignore the zombies completely. But are you running away? Is it because the others that were back there, they were like looking at us? Tell you what, I'll get this one to come over to me. Oh no, you're you're just straight up running away now. You're abandoning me, huh? What if I kill one of them? I bet if I kill one, then you'll you'll get you'll feel a little bit more brave. He's like, sure thing, boss. Uh, oh, actually, no, hold on. It looks like we're gonna have to fall back a fair amount. Yeah, he, he kind of got cornered there. So he should be coming in to attack, but he's not. Okay, that one's down. This other one should go down pretty soon. There we go. You feeling braver now? Come on, you can you can handle him. You can take that. I'll I'll get in between you and oh no, nope, there's a spitter. You cannot handle that. Uh, no. I I got spat on. Okay. Well, better me than him. Right? I'm out of the acid. I don't know why I'm being hurt. Yes. Um, I guess... Oh, I guess I must be just, like, experiencing pain from the acid that's on my feet. If I do that, does that block that? Can I now aim? Yes, it does. Oh, sweet. I was I was gonna do the adrenaline, but we don't need to. Um, I think now we've got a much more manageable situation. But our friend is kind of being dumb. He's kind of running in there. I would like it if you're standing behind the acid. Can I give him a command to tell him to go to a place? Can I? I, I don't think I can, but. Uh. Yellow. I can't be like, hey, guard over here temporarily. Uh, stick close to me. Okay, it looks like you're stuck. I'm gonna have to get in there. Because three nadirs against you, that's just not fair. These guys have some pretty nasty attacks. I mean, against two, maybe. I'll, I'll let the other one get a little bit closer before I take my next shot. Okay, well... Come on, I believe in you, bud. Oh, nice. Killed them at the same time. I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, looks good to me. I'm gonna take care of you because my companion can't. And I think that, uh, I think that that's looking pretty good. I did say we were going to go to the bookstore and then make our way to the lab. But I'm also looking at the amount of zombies that are around here. And the fact that we've only got like 10 minutes left in the episode and I don't think I'm going to be able to, um, do too much with the lab bef before then. And I might want to do some mutagen, uh, creating in between episodes, essentially. Oh, actually, mm, yeah. Let's do more fighting. I, I'm, I'm trying. I was trying to figure out if, uh, or exploration, if I wanted to um, go out and try and get more stomachs for our our friend. But it just takes so long. It's kind of boring to watch too. You know. Uh, where is where's our car at right now? Um, are we at the car? I've forgotten where I parked it, to be honest. And I'm not seeing it on the map. There's a few zombies there, though. Yeah, where is our car? I thought it was at the below noise tile. Oh, it's just up here. I'm just not seeing it. Do I? It's actually um, not too far from us right now. Pretty big group though coming our way. 
Uh, I might. <laughs> yeah, I think we need to fall back there. Uh, I don't know if we can outrun that though, and if my friend's gonna try and get in the combat. Yeah, don't fight. Do not fight. Do not fight. Uh. Um. Yeah, I just am nervous about the number of zombies there over there. There's like night stalkers as well. I mean, we do. We might be okay. Yell, not a sentence, no. Not what I wanted. Um, I want to yell a command. It's not giving me the option. Okay, well, we might as well stop him from getting caught by that, that juggernaut. I think he's... Oh, are you... You're Seriously, you're going to try and fight this? Okay, well, I don't think I have much of a choice then. If he's going to try and fight that... I think I have to fight it. I mean, I can kill it. He actually looks like he might be trying to run away right now. Yeah, well, let's uh, let's see if we can just fall back a little bit more, Harvey. And I don't know. We might want to see if we can get like wreckage between us and them. Actually, there's not too many zombies. There's a lot less than I thought there were. I thought there were more. But if it's only that number, that I think we can handle them. I would like to get this wreckage between us and them still. It's just going to slow them down just a little bit. And it might even hurt them, I think. I've kind of forgotten. But we'll just kind of delay that group over there. It looks like there's a lot of shriekers right now, to be honest. I might... Yeah, Harvey, I think you could just kill these, these shriekers. We'll let you do that. And then I'll I'll take out the big boy. Uh, the juggernaut, I was kind of playing around with bullets. Um, bullets seem to tear through metal now. But I think that um, to actually manage these enemies, we're going to have to do it a little bit. We're going to have to shoot a little bit, I mean. Yeah. Because now our friend, he's going to start retreating. He thinks it's unwinnable. Though we can totally, totally win this. It's not too bad, actually. We'll get him some confidence. Are you going to come back towards me? Yeah. And then I'm actually going to come towards him. Because he can, he can totally manage these, these two right here. Totally fine. And then I'm actually gonna start taking him at the skeletal zombie. Oh, did you see that? I like totally just cleared a path for him. That was really dumb of me. Like, did you see the debris between us? It totally got destroyed. Um. Hopefully, my friend doesn't start running in front of me. That's the the reason I'm taking the the aim right now. Per, like not just doing the button press but actually doing it single by single it's just because I'm a little bit concerned that Harvey here is going to run out and I think yeah we should be able to take out the skeletal juggernaut before they even get to us we've got 12 bullets left yeah Wait, how many magazines do we have there's at least Kind of hard to see. That one's got one in it. And then this has another one. Okay, so we've got two more mags. Yeah, we're, we're totally fine. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be it. No, never mind, because these things have like a million health. There we go. Oh no, there's a corrosive. I just thought that we were in the clear. Well, at least he's he's shooting at Harvey, so it's not going to interfere my shot, which is kind of nice. But it's bad because then Harvey's going to actually get acid damage, which he doesn't have good resistance for. There we go. That wasn't too bad. I'm going to just take a couple steps ahead just to make sure there's not any other corrosives around here. Oh, there's a hound coming our way. Can I shoot it from afar? I think I missed it. I'm gonna just like take pot shots at it. 
Oh, I got it. Nice. Uh, go ahead and put the other one away. And then Harvey, would you mind? Thank you. And now we've got a much better chance of actually hitting the hound. Yeah, I got him, um, but it didn't kill him. Okay. Nice. Okay. Good. Like I was saying, you gotta watch out for those uh, special effects. Oh, did he just get... What, what just got ripped there? Uh, wait, where's his... Where is his... Uh, uh, I think he just lost his cloak. I think his cloak just got destroyed. I could have sworn I just looked at that cloak and it like wasn't even hurt. See what I mean about like the armor. I do want to get him... I think it's a, called a Kevlar vest. The XL Kevlar vest. And I don't, unfortunately, I don't think um, the um, sleeveless anything works with mutated anatomy. And I can't really get much more protection for his arms or his legs. Um, like, nothing fits over his extra large gear, essentially. Um, so it's, yeah, we're kind of stuck with what we have here. Um... If I go to like XL, you have got, uh, where's the, I'm not seeing that Kepler vest that I, or no, I am, it, it, is, it is there, right there. Yeah, like if you look here, he's got that on, he's got his own mask, he's got like uh, a hood, I think, because that's the only thing I can get on his head. I could get some boots, but I like his, his hoof attack, and I don't think he has any gloves on so I might want to see about getting him some gloves but he does have like I think long nails which if he's not wearing gloves I think allows him to attack with them but I've if I'm honest I've kind of forgotten his hands are unprotected right now which might be part of the reason he's actually taking so much uh, hand damage um it's not taking that much actually But you can see, like, this is this is fun for me to just, like, kind of hang out with this, like, mega beast thing that just, like, punches everything. Or, and I should say, more like kicks everything and then headbutts everything, you know? This guy could do some damage, though. He's going to be an annoying one to try for him to do melee. Yeah, he just got bit in the torso. That, see, that actually did do damage to the torso, didn't it? Yeah, that did a little damage. Um, I will distract the hunting. Oh no, there's another juggernaut. Really? Really? Okay, well, it looks like we're gonna need to be um, quick on our, th our feet here. I'm probably gonna end this episode here though, just because we're at the half an hour mark. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.